Hey guys, what's going on? Well, <laughs> you've probably been wondering where we get all these great parts that we use to build our Tycos and Nyko projects and things. And, uh, well, I had to grab the camera because we're just in time for the uh, Tyco Girls Tyco Jump Train to come through. Um, should be hooking up now. Getting ready to come through here. We'll see what we got. What she's ordered. Really? Well, you got uh, two racing slips here, but they don't match. What are we going to You got one of each? They don't match. Good trip. Oh, we got a new front end for the Porsche 962, the Taco Porsche 962. We need that for sure. Oh boy. Settle down. Okay, so we got uh, the battery door for something and the rear end for something. And oh, a 9.6V uh, Taco motor. That's always great. All right, let's go unload this stuff. We'll see what we can get together here. Ah. All right, guys, so we was really wanting to show off our uh, new taco train, our new taco delivery junk train, parts train, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's actually a Bachmann G-Scale uh, German-made locomotive. Um, Thomas the Train, or Thomas the Friends, Thomas and Friends, whatever it is, um, I grew up watching... And this is Percy, not Thomas, but um, anyway, I just really love the show and wanted to show off our model here. And we've made it RC, radio controlled, as you seen earlier. Um, so anyway, it's just a really pretty model. And I put a LED light in the lantern right here. Um, it doesn't have one from the factory at all. And Percy's eyes go side to side when, when it's driving but it takes like four feet just to get them to go one way so I can't show you here because it just takes too much space but anyway I show you guys how we uh, operate it here um, with our remote control controller here so oh we got turned on huh <laughs> so uh, like I said, we can make it, it's RC now, and the, the advantages here are, um, I don't have to mess with a power pack here on the table or wherever the train's set up at. I can control it from anywhere. Um, also, you don't have to keep the rails on the track super clean for it to be smooth because the power is inside the locomotive and it's not picking it up from the track. So it's just really easy, real easy going and and hook up to the junk car here and uh pull your junk around your taco jump <laughs> settle down <laughs> good grief hey guys what's going on well uh we got the locomotive tour apart because the last video was going to show you guys how we made it rc and what it takes to do it and how easy it is. So we got Taco Girl here today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, also I wanted to show you how uh, Percy's eyes move. Um, in the first video I didn't even think about just lifting up the locomotive and showing you that. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, turn my radio on here. So before I put the battery pack on, I'm going to show you guys, um, this is the business end, all the running gear. Um, so basically on a electric locomotive, you just have, 
electric motor with a gearbox that goes to the wheels. The wheels pick up power from the track. So you gotta keep the track and the wheels really clean so it runs real smooth and it's not all jerky because it's losing contact because the track's there. Most of you know that. So anyway, if you make it RC, um, it's controlled by an ESC and receiver from your controller or radio and it doesn't matter how dirty the wheels are or how, or how dirty the track is, it's going to run smooth regardless. So it's just a really cool upgrade. Plus, you know, you got your controller here that you can carry around with you and you don't have to, uh, have to walk up and adjust a power pack to slow it down or stop it. Or Also, you have different channels to work with. Um, this is a two-channel receiver, so I have an extra channel to do something else like run a sound system, which we're going to be installing maybe in the next video, I'm not sure. And also we have an auxil auxiliary port to where we can run lights or stuff like that. So anyway, I'll show you guys uh, I have to uh, just stick the wires in the plug right now because I don't have a male connector for my battery pack. <laughs> so maybe we won't have any short circuits or battery explosions. Um, I'm just going to have to kind of hold this here while I show you. But I think it's really cool and a little bit creepy how Percy's eyes moves back and forth. I'll show you. Hold on. Let me grab it better. I'll show you how it runs by itself. So I got my radio controlled. I'm operating. But anyway, check his eyes out. <laughs> and his eyes move faster the faster the locomotive moves. <laughs> it's kind of weird, huh, guys? It's cool, though. Um, so, I'm going to do this better, but, uh, well, heck, I guess that's about it. All I was going to show you, um, I'm fixing to wire it back up and, uh, I'm glad I took it back apart because I simplified some things and just made it look really nice and really simple. But anyway, guys, I guess we'll, uh, I'll pause it here and, uh, put this thing back together and we'll drive it on the track just a little bit. Alright, guys, so here we are back. We got to Percy the locomotive back together. <laughs> and, uh, I was just going to drive it back and forth for you and show you how it works. Of course, Taco Girl's got a ride. <laughs> so I can go real slow. And it's really cool because I can drive it really slow. And that's fun for model training because model railroads because you want to be able to go real slow in, in switch yards and stuff. But, uh, you can go faster, or just whatever. So anyway, guys, uh, I guess that's it. And, uh, maybe in part three, we'll, uh, install a sound system, a locomotive, uh, steam engine sound system. That'd be pretty cool, huh? All right, then. Later, dudes. <laughs>